You've got back pain. Today's workout is a follow along video to help you with your back pain. It's gonna relieve back pain. It's gonna build your hip strength. It's gonna build your shoulder mobility. It's just gonna help your whole body feel better so you can do stuff without back pain. This is one of the mobility workouts in the Back Pain Fix program, which I will link to down below. As you do this workout, just pay attention to your body. Don't push through anything that hurts really bad. Make sure you take your time. You can always watch this again and do it at your own pace. There's no pressure to do anything super hard, super fast. That only leads to injury. Just make sure you take your time and listen. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. start you're going to be on your hands and knees with your arms and your thighs vertical you're going to take your right leg and reach your left arm and reach you want the thigh and the arm to get about parallel with the floor keep your abs engaged try to get your right butt cheek to fire you're going to feel your left hip also working keep pressing to the floor with the right hand firmly Make sure the abs stay on. Keep your head and neck in line with your spine. And just go nice and slow. If you can't bring your arm or leg up all the way, that's fine. You can just start off lower and then gradually work on bringing it higher up. Now we're gonna switch sides. So now it's gonna be the left leg and right arm. Nice and slow and controlled. Make sure you're not twisting and tilting. You don't want to turn because you're losing balance. You just wanna maintain the same body position. So your chest and your belly and your hips are all square to the floor. Really try to reach as you lift the arm and the leg. The arm is reaching high, high, high and away from your head and the leg is reaching far, far, far and away. Go ahead and relax. For the next exercise, you're going to want a pad for your knee or a pillow and get a piece of furniture, something sturdy to help you balance yourself. You're going to take your left leg and bring it out to the side. You're going to squeeze your right butt cheek, squeeze your left butt cheek to try to get posterior pelvic tilt. And you're just trying to get the left leg as far out to the side as possible. This can be a very, very intense stretch. You can feel like your abs want to turn off, but keep your abs engaged, keep the butt cheeks working. Feel the stretch in the left inner thigh. You may also feel this in the right inner thigh. If you find that this is very difficult, you can use extra cushioning underneath the right leg or just don't go as far out to the side with that left leg. Go ahead and relax. Ease your way out of that. Now with the right leg, same thing. Keep the butt cheeks and the abs engaged. Reach out as far as you can, getting a solid stretch through the right inner thigh. Make sure you constantly check for posterior pelvic tilt. 
get that solid medium stretch. You can also adjust foot position a little bit. Yeah, I'm showing you the side view so you can see I'm not losing my lower back position. Just breathe calmly there. If it feels really, really stiff and difficult, you can also think about pushing your foot a little bit harder into the ground. So you would be contracting your inner thigh muscles. Hanging can be really intense. If doing this with a pull-up bar feels too intense, please use the regression shown on screen with the handrail. Otherwise, go ahead and hold on to the pull-up bar with your hands about shoulder width apart, and you can experiment with other grips in the future. Keep both feet on the chair, and when you feel ready to challenge your hands and arms, then you can lift one foot up and see if you can hold that for the full 30 seconds. Once you can do that for the full 30 seconds, then you can go to two legs up until you progress all the way to the full hang for the full 30 seconds. But work to that gradually. Start off with the easiest regression, pulling off of the rail, and then move to hanging from a bar or a rope like I'm doing here. And when you come down, make sure you use the chair to safely dismount. Now we are going to stretch the inner thighs again. You're going to put your knee on a pad, take your left leg and slide it way out to the side as far as you can go. If you can't get very far or you find it very difficult to even achieve the position, use extra pads under your knee and just don't go as far. For this, we can use some contractions. So you can fire the inner thigh muscles, contract them to pull the foot into the floor a little bit, and then relax it. It's a very helpful technique to increase range of motion. You don't have to contract very hard right now. It's nice and easy feeling those muscles. As you go through this exercise, you wanna keep trying to sink the hips back towards your heel. That's gonna give you a deep, deep, deep adductor stretch. And we'll go ahead and relax. Hey, quick interruption. I just wanna say thank you to T. Richmond 1964 for the $10 donation to support this channel. If you wanna support it too, hit that thanks button and leave me a tip. Thanks so much, back to the workout. And switch sides. On this side, I'm just doing this with some elevation under my knee. So if you have a very stiff right leg, then you can use this technique to make it easier to get into position. You can stack up pillows, you can stack up pads, whatever helps you is okay. Again, you should feel this in the inner thigh. You can use like contractions of the inner thigh muscles to help you improve and increase your range of motion. You can play with your upper body position like I'm doing here. I'm moving more towards my foot and ankle. All the while thinking about increasing the distance the foot's going out and also sinking the hips and butt back towards that left heel. Go ahead and ease your way out of that. Take your time. That can really be intense.
for this exercise, you may need a pad for your knees. You're gonna need a chair, couch, other piece of furniture that you can put yourself on. Get your elbows on the edge. Put your hands along your shoulders. You're going to sink back with your hips. Keep your low back rounded. Try to drop your rib cage and chest down towards the floor. You should feel this around the armpits, under your arms in the triceps area. You may feel this in the mid and upper back. You don't want to arch your low back heavily. If anything, try to keep a low back rounding so that all the challenges in the shoulders and upper back. You can wiggle around a little bit, feel a little extra stretch from side to side and enjoy. Now we can go ahead and relax. For this exercise, you're gonna need a pillow, two pillows, some cushions under your butt. You're going to put the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall out as far as they can go. If you can barely get them apart, then use more cushions and elevation to help you get a little bit of spread. Then put your hands on top of your knees and we're going to be using contractions to build some strength in the inner thigh muscles. So you're gonna place your hands on top of the knees and they're gonna be pressing down and you're going to fire the inner thigh muscles to pull the knees up towards the ceiling while the hands resist. Then you relax the contraction and your hands push down a little bit further. And do it again, contract and then relax, pushing down a little bit further. Pay attention to your body's signals. If it feels too intense, then go a little bit easier. As you get familiar with it, you can use more and more pressure, harder and harder contractions. And then go ahead and relax. Take your time. Inner thigh work can be really intense, so don't rush out of those positions. So we're gonna do some 90-90 wipers. You're gonna sit on your butt, knees bent to 90 degrees, feet around shoulder width or wider, and then you're going to let the knees drop, hips twist and twist the entire body around. So you get a full twist, full range of motion for the spine as well as the hips. Really look around. Right now I'm doing this with some hand support to explore. As you get better at this, you can just stop using hands to help you through that transition. That will require a little more hip strength, a little more ab strength. To start, you can always just try it a little bit and then gradually you won't need your hands at all. You should really feel this all around the hips, around the pockets of your pants around the inner thigh and groin. There can be all kinds of sticking points. And then let's go ahead and relax out of that. Now let's put our ankle weights on. You're gonna lie down on your side, right hand as a stabilizer. Left leg is gonna be lifting up towards the ceiling. The left leg should be in line with your body. And you're just trying to get it as high as you can go and then slowly back down to rest. When you're at the top position, try to hold it for at least a count of three and slowly back down. 
You don't need to use a 10 pound heavy ankle weight. You can just use one pound, two pounds, five pounds. Just gradually build the strength here. If you feel cramping in your inner thighs, it's very normal because most of us have never done inner thigh work. Okay, and let's go ahead and switch sides. So this time, left hand is your support, left leg is your support, or right leg is the one that's going to do the work. And lift. Really feel for the right inner thigh muscles firing, firing, firing. And again, make sure you hold it up at the top. Try to get it as high as you can. Try to hold it for a count of three and control it on the way back down. And last one. And relax. Nice work. This workout is done. That's it for the workout. If you want the full program with all the workouts and a multi-month plan to help you beat your back pain, be sure to check out the Back Pain Fix program. Link will be down below. If you wanna support this channel, please hit that thanks button and leave me a tip and I promise I will not spend your money on unnecessary orthopedic surgeries for back pain. And if you don't wanna give me any money, it's totally fine. Just hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to the channel with notifications on. I'm Matt Chu from Upright Health reminding you that pain sucks. Life shouldn't.